Hi, my brothers and sisters. You may have noticed the uh, title, uh, and it's a little bit of a shocker. Um, but I just, uh, I just uh, did that because I thought I would share that. Uh, you know, it's true. I don't read the Bible. I don't. Uh, I have before, and sometimes, sometimes I do, but I don't read the Bible very much but the point I'm making is ever since I've been saved and ever since I've been following God I have always listened to the Bible on audio besides the very first time I read it and uh, that's just the way I do it and I have listened to the Bible on audio through and through so many times that it's ingrained into my brain and see, a lot of times, so the point I'm making is that people like to get ritualistic with things, and there's only one way that you can do it. Uh, if you're not reading your Bible chapter and verse and this and that and the other thing, or if you're not doing your fast with water only, you're not fasting correctly, or, you know, you're not giving your 10% to your pastor every week exactly on time, so-and-so, and then you're outside of God's will. These, You know what these all are? These are formulas and rituals of men that have been deemed to be uh, uh, Christian Code of Conduct 101 you must do in order to be walking the right way. And, like, I have a confession to make. I, I always listen to the Bible on audio. And if you listen to my sermons, you'll see that there's nothing wrong with that. Because 90% of my sermons are me quoting verses. And that's the thing. Like, the thing is, it's from your heart. God sees the convictions in your heart. If I'm listening to that, if I'm listening to the first epistle, Peter, Peter you know, 10 times a month, you know, and that's just the way I want to do it. And I don't want to crack open the Bible and read it because I just learn better. Then you have to understand that God sees the heart. God understands the convictions of the heart. And God is going to, God is ministering to your heart. And that's the same with fasting. Like, I have the personal conviction in my heart that I always do juice fast. I don't fast with water only. And I probably never will do a dry fast unless the Lord leads me to. The Lord has led me to do juice fasts. And this is how I do them. And I do the big ones, the small ones, all different ones. But I do juice fast. And people will like to make a formula of something that isn't in the Bible. You know, like how you different, how, you know, and then they'll go all the way. These are the rules and restraints of men. You have to do it the way we always did it. You know, or you're not doing it right. But God is not looking at your formulas. God's not looking at the way you do things. God is not looking at how you, you know, say like you go in the prayer closet and you like to do it a certain way. You do your you do your secret place with Jesus time a certain way. You cannot also put that onto somebody else and say, do it just like me. And you will see the same results. You will get the same. And God will be pleased with you if you do it the way I'm doing it. And then your traditions of men become, you know, uh, become uh, actually codified uh, Christian principles that can even go into the church and say, this is the way we got to do it, or we ain't walking the full thing out the right way. And I'm using reading the Bible as an example. Yeah, you should always have the Word of God pumping in you. You should always have it pumping in you, right? Like, in you know, if you're not listening to it, if you're not reading it and you're not listening to it, you know, then you better figure out how you're going to get it in you. But that's just my point. God sees the heart. God works with the heart. And God knows if you really want to get close to him, if you want to really want to draw to him, and you're doing the things like, okay, I'm not trying to justify everything that comes out the heart. Like, if you're trying to do a, if you're sinning and you think that you're doing God a, a service through sin and it's coming from your heart, well, that's never okay. But when you're trying to draw close to God, and when you're trying to live a relationship with Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter how you do it. God sees your heart. Okay, if you feel like fasting and only drinking eggnog during your fast, and you're doing an eggnog fast, okay, God sees your heart. He knows you want to get near to Him. And this is what God will honor. 
Because he he honors the real you. He don't honor that fake you. That, that fake you that wants to fit in the, with the Christian culture. Okay, God uses people to shake up the Christian culture, and he pro and, I'm, and I and I probably have a little bit of that in me. But the thing is, I just want you to be real and true and authentic with Jesus Christ, and give Him your real self, and don't think that you need to do it the way somebody else does it. God loves you just the way you are, as long as you're not living in sin. You know, God doesn't love sin, but God loves who He created you to be. You know, and then when you're in when you live in holiness, He likes that version of you. So that's just my thing. If you like to only listen to the Bible on audio, you can. If you like to do juice fast, you can. If you like to wear, uh, you know, certain types of clothes or shoes that other, as long as it's not like provoking people to sin, then you can. You know, you can do what you want. Don't, don't, there's freedom in Christ. Don't, 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 don't start thinking that the traditions and ways of men are all of a sudden, you know, it's like that one time. When they were like, oh, you know, you guys you guys are all worried about washing your hands before you eat. And that's become your tradition and your culture. But like inside of you is, is vile, you know. And the Jews still do that today. They have this big religious thing about they got to wash their hands so they don't defile their temple. So they always wash their hands before they eat. And it's a religious thing, right? So they, but the, Jesus said, you know, you guys wash your hands, but then the inside of you is dirty. That's the thing. Like you guys, you might read the Bible. You might only read the King James Version. Because you want to be, you want to be, but that's not a heart issue. If you only like to read the King James Version, that's a you issue. That's not a heart issue. A heart issue would be you love Jesus Christ and you want to get close to him and you want to know him. And how you do that is you draw nigh to God and he would draw nigh to you. Don't, don't, there's no formula for it. How I approach God in the secret place is not going to be how you do it to the T. And what you want to do when you get into the secret place is you want to do it with all your heart. If you want to get into, if you want to approach God in the secret place, do it with all your heart. If you want to read the word, if you want to get into the word like I do, just do it with all your heart. If you want to fast, fast how you will, do it with all your heart. And this is what God will reward. And that's my message. God will reward what you do from your heart. Just just do it unto the Lord. In Jesus name. Amen.